Greetings, people of the internet. This is Cardix, and today is another video. Okay, so I have a kind of large project to get done in a couple of days, but until I can post that video, I am going to be doing some smaller, hopefully, videos. This one is not exactly very small. It's like 10 minutes long, but you know, I wanted to uh, draw Isla, my alien character, in a dress. Of course, it's got to be an alternative style dress, but a dress nonetheless. And since she doesn't really show off her skin very much, she just feels a little bit uncomfortable with wearing the dress. But yeah, I wanted to draw her in an alien dress. So I hope you guys enjoy this concept. The dress itself is based on something I saw on Pinterest, but I added a few um, details that are not like the image. For example, I uh, later added a bit of a red gradient to it, and I really like that effect. It's very interesting. Anyway, uh... I wish I had more time to work on this, but I just wanted to get it done super fast so I would have a video ready to finish, to upload, rather, today. So that's why I didn't exactly give it any kind of background or anything. I want to start doing backgrounds again because I just kind of, I've gotten lazy with doing that lately. Oops. Um, <laughs> you know, I'll, I'll get back on that hopefully soon. I know the big project that I'm talking about will, um, <laughs> have a background. And just so you guys know, the big project is another illustration for a friend of mine's book. The same friend that I did those other two illustrations for. And it's going to be a doozy, because it's a pose kind of thing that I've never really tried to do before. I'm a little afraid that I'll completely mess up and ruin everything. But that's just me. Yeah. Um, I also kind of want to draw Isla as a child, too. Just because I think it'd be fun. And I'd also like to try and design some creatures that could possibly be on the planet that Isla is from. But you know, that's a that's a future thing, and a very possibly in the far future kind of thing. But it'd be cool, I think, if I could design those creatures in terms of their original appearance, as well as what they would look like if Isla turned into them, because she's a shapeshifter. Like in terms of Beast Boy. She can, she can turn into pretty much any animal that she wants, but, uh, you know, she hasn't quite gotten the grasp of how to manipulate her body's color scheme, so whenever she turns into an animal, it turns out looking gr green, like Beast Boys does. But eventually she will figure it out. I'm just enjoying drawing animals that are green. <laughs> Although I've only done it once, which is the cat video, which I tried to draw um, a green cat, kind of uh, designing how she would look like if she, how she would look if she turned into a cat. And then I drew her if she were trying to mimic that cat's pose, and that was pretty fun. I would like to do that more often, I think. Of course, not right now, because I've got the big project to do. But maybe in the next few days, if I don't have it, if I don't have the big project done, then I will hopefully do that. Then maybe We'll see. There's the, uh, the red tint that I enjoyed. It's just a gradient, kind of. I was having, I was kind of having fun trying to figure out how to, uh, give the indication that there is a kind of mesh fabric 
in front of her dress like a uh, sheer fabric. Sheer fabric. There we go. I think that's what it's called. I don't know. I'm not into fashion. I don't understand anything. But, uh, yeah, the project will hopefully be done by the time I have to upload another video, which will be the day after tomorrow. We'll just have to find out. Um, what else can I say? Uh, I, I like how her hair turned out in this, uh, illustration, I guess. I like how the, I like when I do the details, I guess, of the hair and make it look like so many different st strands and it almost feels realistic. Almost. It may not feel that way right now, but when I get to the doing the details later, then yeah. Also, I wasn't entirely sure what to put onto her necklace because she has like a really long necklace, and I um was thinking about what kind of charm could be on it. I didn't want it to just be a chain because that's kind of boring. So I put an engagement kind of ring on it, I think. You know, one of those diamond rings that are seen in movies and stuff. Again, I don't know about much. <laughs> anyway, um, I guess the idea would be that her background is kind of like she was on a spaceship or something with her parents and her siblings, however many she has, I haven't decided yet. And the something happened with the ship, so she, so her parents put her on the only working escape pod, and she ended up on Earth. The idea with the ring on her necklace was that maybe her mom, just before the ship exploded, I guess, maybe her mom gave her her own engagement ring or something. Something quick that she could hand off to her child before they were parted. So, yeah, the the story is kind of, what's the word? Not finalized. It's kind of what I've got in my head so far. The point, though, is that she doesn't have a family, really. She lives on the street with my character, Tiri, which I've done a speed paint on before with him sitting on the street with with a bottle of alcohol and a cigarette in his mouth. That was an interesting one to do because I was learning things. At least I hope I learned things. I may not rem be able to remember the things I learned because I have a terrible memory. And as usual, there is a cat. Freaking cat. I am messing with it because it is messing with me. It's just little. Cats are small. But they are very, very annoying when they want to be. She has, um, Isla that is, Isla has a belt that has kind of studs on it. Like, not spiky studs, but kind of like bare ones? I don't know. So I've been kind of playing around with how to render those. So instead of just avoiding it, I um, gave her a bracelet for that kind of belt. And I tried to render that, so I need to practice with jewelry more. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you don't mind me babbling. And um, if you like my artwork, then please like, comment, share, and subscribe if you want to. And there are links of more of my videos on the screen. And, you know, thanks for watching. Bye!